All right, what's up, everybody? I'm here at the Double Tree in Orlando by uh, SeaWorld with my man Drew Lipton over here, the Spider Monkey, rocking a pretty dope shirt, as you can see. He will be fighting tonight at Knucklemania against uh, Jeff Bailey. Yes, sir. All right, tell us what what do we know about Jeff Bailey? Because I don't. I'll be honest, I don't really know much about it. Yeah, I'll be honest, me either. <laughs> <laughs> um, know that he was a coach at, Jiu -Jitsu, at Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah. And uh, he's traveled quite a bit with the Jiu-Jitsu stuff. MMA, I think he was like 2-0. and o. Okay. And so he has MMA striking, you know, but uh, that's all I really know, man. You know, it's like, it's hard to tell with these new guys coming in. Because you know they bring them in for a reason. Yeah. Whether they know somebody or they've been showing some tape or so, there's some reason they bring them in. So... Everybody that does bare knuckles tough, you know, yeah. or thinks they can do bare knuckle tough, but uh, you know, don't know much, yeah. so it's just going to be my game plan, you know. And you have experience in there, so uh, we'll see where oh, you yeah. go. It's funny because you say uh, everyone thinks that they're tough until they get in there and figure it out, and yeah. there's quite a few guys on guys and, and female on the uh, card tomorrow that are going to find out for the first time. You got you got Paige, you got Brandon Lambert, you got Jeff Bailey, so you got. John Lee Chal uh, Chalbeck, yep. he's going to be taking the gloves off for the first time, so get a, a huge card, dude. Yeah, a lot, Such of, a great lot card. of learning tonight. You know? oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll uh, see a lot of eyes get really big, I think, those first like 30 seconds. Yeah, we were talking with somebody yesterday about the moment that first bare hand lands, you think you know until you, yeah. until you find out, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Um, That's what I'm saying with the eyes being like wide open, you know, because yeah. you'll get hit and it's either going to be like, okay, this is it, mm -hmm. or you're going to get hit and you're going to go, okay, what, I need to do a little more defense, or maybe I need to move. It's definitely that eye opener. Every single fight I've had, it's been, okay, I need to move, or I need to do defense, or I need to, but I think especially that very first time I ever got hit by a bare knuckle, yeah. it was like, okay, this is how it feels. like. And you can't, what I've noticed about bare knuckle versus like traditional boxing you can't sit back and pick your pick your shots as often yeah. in bare knuckle. It, it is as soon as you guys toe the line and they say knuckle up, it is like pedal to the floor. Oh yeah, someone's going down, <laughs> someone's gonna bleed, something's ha something's gonna happen. I, I can't well, wait to see it tonight. It's such a good pace. I feel like not only for fight fans, like because it's two minutes, and but it's two minutes, so it's like you feel like you got to make the best of it for fighters. So, and I feel like fighters fight at a better pace that way, you yeah. know, like two minutes isn't going to tire you out if you're conditioned, yeah. you know, even decently, it shouldn't. And so, yeah, that two minutes, man, just pushing that pace right there and you're right. But you can't be lazy, right? Like throw those lazy jabs, you're going to get hurt in bare yeah. knuckle throwing those little feelers, man. Like everything's got to have a purpose, whether you're stepping to the left or the right or you're throwing a jab or overhook or to the body, like has to have purpose or you're going to get fucked up in bare knuckle. Now, now tell me. When you fought Chris Ly uh, Lytle, yeah, was was he a hard? Was he one of the harder hitters you've ever dealt oh, with? He was probably the hardest and quickest uh, hitter, bro. Yeah, like because with him it was like wound. You thought he was winding up on his hook. You know, okay, I see that. But as soon as you see it, you're getting hit by it. You know, and so like whether it was to the head or to the body, it felt like a fucking sting, dude. Yeah. But when I fought like David Mundell, you know, it was more just the overhands. It really wasn't too much, but with Harrison, dude, yep. it was everything. Like, but it was power. With Chris, it was sting, dude. Sting, like, okay. Yeah, Chris just looks like a monster in there. So <laughs> he's an animal. Yeah, but um, he's a legend for a reason. Yeah, you know? hell yeah. Now, um, talk about the 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 face off last night at the weigh in. Oh, so yeah. He wasn't saying much. No. You were doing the talking. <laughs> Which usually isn't like me. I try not to be yeah, like that. So, so what got you riled up that, that you had to, you, you felt like you had to go in on him a little bit? Well, about this, man, about this fight is I'm trying to be more myself, you know. Try to just be okay with being Drew Lipton, being the yep. spider monkey. being And everybody knows me as nice and silly, but I'm like, you know, like, I am. But I'm also professional, dude. Like... I tell everybody, this is how I feed my kids. Yeah. Like, this is my kid's new clothes. This guy, he doesn't have to worry about that, dude. He gets to go home after this. He still has a paycheck. Like, I work a nine to five. You know how that shit goes, you yeah. know? And oh, so yeah. I'm like, if, if I lose, like, I take this very serious. So I wanted to talk, you know? I wanted yeah. to tell him, like, I'm here. Like, and just the way he looked at me, you know, that, that's what got me is smug, kind of like, oh, I'm just gonna walk through you because he called me out. Yeah. And I was like, I take offense to that, bro. Like, this is my fourth fight. You know, I'm dedicating my life to this. Like, so to me, just looking at me all smug and not caring and just not really feeling like I 
I felt like he didn't care to be there. You know, he's just like, oh, this yeah. is just another fight. Okay, against this chump. And so I told him, I was like, dude, come ready. I know you've seen my tape, but I'm not that fighter. And he just goes, like a monkey, bro. And I'm just like, oh, okay. I weigh in, me eat. You yeah. know, and I'm just like, no, dude. Like, this is <laughs> this is bare knuckle. There's some sophistication to it. There's technicalness to it. There's also the brawl caveman yeah. to it. But I was like, man, I've been studying this shit since bare knuckle too. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, I dedicated my life to this. And it just, I felt really insulted. And so I, I wanted to wild up, but also being the first prelim, yeah. I wanted to get people into it, man. Like, But you also seem really composed too. Like, yeah. you know, they say it's not good to go into a fight no. angry well, like it's, this. Well, it's weigh-ins. Yeah, I'm not I mean, gonna punch the dude yeah, there. Yeah, so, you I'm know, not gonna, we saw I'm not in the main event. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna choke. Yeah, we saw in the main <laughs> event, emotions ran high in that one. Yeah. Oh, we, we were wondering how that's gonna boil over into the fight tonight. Right. We'll see. Uh, for those who don't know, Drew is also a veteran like like us. We uh, love the veterans on the show. Um, how many years did you do in here? Uh, five. Five yes, years. Sir. And what rank? Uh, E4. E4, yes, nice. Yeah. And then uh, did you do any boxing or anything while you were there? Yeah, so what's cool is uh, when I got started in MMA and yep. boxing and everything, it was just me and my brothers on the trampoline and like <laughs> YouTubing stuff and watching UFC yep. and uh, doing that. Well, being from Susanville, California, small, you know, small, yep. we have one gym. So it's like you, it was, everybody was wrestlers. So we just go in and punch, right? Just yeah. hit each other, just spar for two hours. That was our training. Well, when I got stationed in Colorado Springs, I met up with Chris uh, Solorzaro. Yes, yep. it is a shout out, Team Underground, what? Colorado Springs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I got with him and he actually taught me jujitsu and taught me Muay Thai and taught me kickboxing nice. and taught me boxing. And uh, now they, in Colorado Springs, he's got one of the best boxing gyms up yep. there. And so that's where I actually learned to like control myself and be a full martial artist. And then when I got stationed in Alaska, they had so many smokers, right? So they have boxing smokers and Muay Thai smokers. So I was doing pretty good in MMA. Did you did you fight in uh, Alaska FC at all? Yeah. Yeah. So, you see a lot of man. You go into the the background of a lot of fighters. Yeah. I, I was telling him yesterday. I'm like, it's amazing how many fighters have fought in Alaska FC. Oh, yeah. They they bring a lot of people up there for the main. It's crazy and stuff. how yeah. many people make it all the way up there. Oh yeah. Well, they want to test their guys, you know, because yeah. you get a lot. Being in Alaska, a lot of people don't want to fly over. Yeah. yeah. But when they get these guys like Jared Cornier that needed to be tested, and they flew out uh, Tony Lopez, yep. you know, and oh, so they wow. do. They fly out all these guys so they can get the best out there. But um, yeah, I did smokers out there, man. That's how I got started, really, in Muay Thai. How my many uh, smokers do you think you, you were in? Fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah, because I did a lot of MMA smokers, but my first Muay Thai fight, the guy was 210 pounds and I was 180. And I, uh, and I beat him pretty well. I think I got hit three times in three rounds. Jeez, nice. Yeah, and, so, and then I boxed a few times. And I think I went like three and two up there in boxing. Great. Uh, so that's where I really learned to be like, when I was boxing up there, of like realizing the different levels. And stuff, so. Now, when you when you fight in BKFC, yeah. they, the wraps are supposed to be an inch below your knuckles, or is yeah. there is there a limit? Because I I heard it was an inch below, but then you look at some of the fighters and the, the tape's right up to the knuckles, and then some people tape it way way back here. Yeah, I think it's all on the commissioner who checks it off. Oh, okay. A lot of times we get it about the half. Halfway point. Yeah, it, it is supposed to be the inch, and every commission I have, they make sure it's like that. I don't really care, dude. They just do the thumb? Yeah. <laughs> Throw the thumb up? I, I don't care. I'm just like, just tape it however. The very first one, I was like, what's the minimum I can have? And they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, I don't I don't want any tape if I don't have to have any tape. Just around the wrist. So they just did like, no, they just did like a tape right here. Oh. Like a piece of tape. And then after that, now they're making me, especially in Florida. You didn't even want your wrist wrapped? No. no. I don't want anything wrapped. I just want Just straight to, up street fight? Yeah. Nice. I just wanted to go out there, nothing hold, like, I didn't want anything holding me down, yeah. kind of like any weight, even though I know it's like 0, 0. 0.1 ounce, yeah. it's like, no, nah, man, I just want to go out there and feel it. But Florida, they make you wear a hand wrap yeah. and all that. Well, you are fighting tonight against Jeff Bailey. Yes, sir. This guy is awesome. Support Drew Lipton tonight, a U.S. Vet a US Air Force veteran, rocking the hottest fucking hottest shirt in the game right now. Dude, I've already had compliments like in person, on Instagram, on Facebook, like everybody being like, dude, those are cool. Like, where am I going to get one? I'm like, you got to hit up Mish, man. Yeah, like, hell he's, yeah, he's selling dude. them. But everyone, they're like, dude, that looks so clean. Like, yeah. yeah. And I'm getting black ones pretty soon, too, so I'll send you a black nice, one as well. Dude. All right, I want to thank uh, Drew Lipton for stopping in. Peace out.
Good shit. All right, man. Thanks, man. Yeah.